When the rivers of Scotland are not too coloured and not too high, when the drought has broken and the rains have come, men who know their salmon fetch out their tackle for one of the world's favourite sports, fly fishing. The salmon fly is an artificial thing of tinsel and bird feathers, floss, silk and animal hair. In the water, it dances on the end of the line like a live thing, its bright colours catching the eye of the fish, luring him to bite. At Kelso, in Scotland's Roxburghshire, flies are made which are exported all over the world, for this is an old and extremely skilled craft. Twenty-five years' experience go into these apparently simple actions by veteran flymaker Isabella Hermiston, a native of Kelso. Before the war, the brightly coloured feathers of the jungle fowl, Indian chatterer or golden pheasant were used. Now, the feathers of more common birds are dyed to achieve the same result. This is the Finnish Jock Scott, a famous tweed fly, and one of many whose names are as colourful as the flies themselves. The Thunder and Lightning Fly, the Golden Dog, Black Ranger, Silver and Black Doctor, and countless others. A river is only ideal for salmon fishing for a very short period, but only the fanatically particular wait for just that time. For the rest of us, the fly fishing season is a long one, starting in February and closing in November. Choice of wading or rowing out to the lie of the fish is optional. In either case, the angler has to be ready for a long, skillful and sometimes unsuccessful fight to bring in the fish that bites on his fly hook. A minute a pound is the angler's golden rule for the time he should take to land a salmon. And in autumn, that can mean nearly an hour's fight, for autumn salmon weigh up to 40 pounds. This spring angler can hope for anything between six and twenty pounds. In fact, though, it's a nine-pounder. No record, but a very nice supper. Altogether, Kelso residents catch up to 400 salmon a year from the Tweed and Teviot, mostly by concession from the Duke of Roxburgh. A fine record and ample proof that their locally made salmon flies are a successful bait, the people of Kelso preserve a tiny but famous export industry. 